As Alistair was fighting Adam, Adam seemed like he was winning. As Alistair was forced to let go of his force field and try to disappear. But before he could, in this alternate timeline, Adam would be a bit more serious and would destroy him, use his magic to make him stop existing. As Alistair was fallen, that was the end of his adventure. Alistair had so many plans, plans to take back this place, plans to pull all the strings, plans to take over the hotel, but it didn't work, as Alistair was no more. As the battle ended, things would go like in canon, except for one thing. Alistair didn't show up. He didn't reveal to everyone he was okay, because he wasn't. As they rebuilt the hotel, though, two people had very interesting questions. Would they stay? Husk and Nifty were no longer under Alistair's control, so they both wanted new and different things, but what were they? Nifty wanted to, well, leave. Nifty stayed because of the bad boy Alistair, and well, Husk was interesting, but Angel wasn't really that much of a bad guy. I mean, sure, she liked him, but she really didn't have that much of a charm to him. So, after the battle, Nifty would say, Call me if you want to fight again, but I need to find some more bad boys, and now I'm an overlord again. Charlie would say, What? Oh, you didn't know I used to be an overlord. Now I can have some fun dealing with bad boys. F. Nifty ran out. As in, Charlie would look at Usk and say, what about you? Usk would think about it. For a long time, he thought about going back. He thought about getting his power back. He thought about being an overlord again, that he could rule the streets again. But the streets have changed, have gotten pretty dangerous. And at the same time, he likes Angel, and he likes the story here, and he likes to see where things go. They defeated Adam. They defeated an angel. They defeated the exorcist. All with the power of friendship. It might sound corny, it might sound dumb, but it's true. And Husk wanted to see it through, as he would say, I would, I will stay. As suddenly Angel would lightly grab Husk's hand and then pull him in for a kiss. As Angel kissed Husk, Husk would kiss back. As they would both blush. Husk would say, what's that for? For saying, cutie. <laughs> as he walked away, Husk started to purr. Charlie said, oh my god, are you purring? No, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. As Husk would say, sh sh shut up. As Husk and Angel would then start a relationship. But as that was going on, we cut to heaven, as Loot would walk over to Lilith. As Lilith and Loot would look at each other, Loot would say, You need to take care of your little brat if you want to stay here. Lilith would then sigh and say, I can't. I had a man on the inside, a man that would take Charlie away from her father, a man that would sow division, the radio demon. I told you about him, and yet Adam got rid of him anyway. She would say, got rid of Alistair. Alistair was my only way to win. Alistair was my only way to sow dissent. Since Lucifer doesn't like me and if I came back, I could try to sow dissent, but I didn't build an emotional connection. Alistair did, and you got rid of him. Loot would say, Alistair attacked us. He had no choice, and he tried to pull away. He wasn't trying to get rid of you. However, you misinterpreted it and got rid of your only chance to win. He was your only chance to destroy the hotel. Now that he's gone and you've lost, the hotel is only successful and you have nothing but yourself to blame. Luke would say, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're going back down. Lilith would sigh and say, fine, I got bored here anyway. As in Lilith would go back down to hell. She would then stay away from her family, not wanting to reveal herself, at least not yet. As Lilith was back something else was going on as we cut to husk husk has been in this state of not knowing what to do with his life and usually that would make someone sad but he was very happy for the first time ever he felt uncertain for the first time ever he felt like he didn't have orders and it made him filled with so much joy but the question still irritated him what was he supposed to do now as the days kept passing, eventually Angel would ask him an interesting question. Angel would sit at the bar, he would look at him and say, Hey, handsome, what do you want? Well, since you're free now, you don't really have to work all the time. Maybe we should go out and have a nice time, just you and me. On maybe like a date? Husk would say, you're asking me out. Yeah, why not? I mean, you said you like the guy I am now, right? Husk would sigh and say, I do. It's just, I don't know. I haven't been out with someone in a very long time. What would I even do? That's what we find out, Sidley. And if it doesn't work out, we can still be friends. 
Hus would think about it as he would say, all right, let's go, as Angel and Husk would go out on a date. As that was going on, we cut to Nifty. Nifty wanted a new bad boy to serve, a new bad boy to work for. Nifty loved being an overlord, and she was now. She was getting territory, getting resources, but she wanted to work for someone too, make me make a business deal. As Nifty was walking around, she would see Gestiel. Gestiel was a bit sad. He was friends with Alistair, and with him gone, well, things were definitely changed. Alistair didn't hold much territory anymore, but he represented the old overlords. He represented a big faction in hell, and without him, that faction is hurting. As Nifty would walk up and say, Hi, bad boy, Zestia would say, You're not scared of me. Wait, you're Nifty, the overlord that was subdued by Alistair. You're free now. So... What are you doing here? To be excited about something. Do you have a way to bring Alistair back? I know you were obsessed with him. Nifty would say, Nope, he's gone forever. <laughs> I want to make a deal with you. I hear you're even worse than Alistair. Such a bad boy. I want to work for you. <laughs> Nifty would say as she kept on laughing. And Jessica would say, Um, well, Jessica usually struck fear into people's hearts. But Jessica was actually scared. He wasn't scared she could hurt him, but she was he was scared that she looked up to him. He never had that responsibility before. As he would say, I'm sure we can work together, as Gestiel and Nifty then started their partnership. As Nifty was excited to work for Gestiel, she had many benefits she could give Gestiel, and Gestiel was excited to work for Nifty, even though he was creeped out a bit, but someone who wasn't actually scared of him, but actually liked being terrorized by him. It kind of, you know, kind of chased things up, made him a bit uncomfortable, but... He would work past it, and together they would have a great partnership, as then we cut to Charlie. As Charlie was laying down, crying, she was sad that Alistair was gone. She was able to compose herself for a while, hold back the tears, but he was like a father figure to her. True, Lucifer was in her life way more now, but she still missed Alistair. Alistair played a big role in this hotel. Even though he didn't believe in it, he still helped it. He helped it grow, and without him, the hotel would have never been a success. As Angel looked down sad, Vaggie would sit down next to her and put her arm around Charlie. It's okay. Hun, I know I didn't really like him, but he had a charm, didn't he? Charlie would say, yeah, he did, and he helped us. Vaggie would say, I know you're sad, but I think you should talk to someone. Charlie would say, what do you mean? I'm with you. I mean, it's great to talk with me, love, but he was a great father figure. But you have a real father, a father who's been there for you now. Talk to him about your sadness. Charlie would say, you're right. As in, Charlie would go talk to Lucifer as she would open up. He was sad that, well, she looked up to Alistair, but honestly, he was happy that she could trust him. And he was sad that Alistair was gone. Even though they had their differences, Lucifer wasn't heartless. Lucifer would share in this sentiment, as in he would help Charlie and guide her. As in we cut back to Angel and Husk, who just got back from their date. As Husk and Angel would both look at each other, as they looked at each other with kindness in their eyes, with love in their eyes. As Angel would say how to go, Husk would say it went amazingly as they kissed. And then Angel would lean down and say, you know, normally I'd bring you to bed, but this time... I don't think I will. I'm going to wait for something special. As Angel walked into his room, as he wanted to wait to have fun with them, as he wanted to wait for it to be special for the both of them, as Hus was getting better, Angel found true love. Nifty working under someone else. Everything seemed normal again. As when Alistair passed, everything was so chaotic, but now things can go back to normal. Except for one person, Lilith. Lilith was in hell, waiting to get her revenge, waiting to take back what was rightfully hers. But she couldn't do anything but wait. Her inn, her ticket, the person she was using to sow a descent was gone, and without that, she had nothing to do but wait to find a new opportunity. And that's going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let you know these are this videos and comments below. I really enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoy watching it. I, uh, well, this is something I want to do for a very long time. 
but I've been kind of procrastinating it because I wanted a good thumbnail because thumbnails, you know, are very important for the video and I couldn't really find an important one for the subject. So I tried my best. I hope you liked it. Anyway, also another reason I didn't really make it until now is because, well, the season ended with Alistair barely making it out alive, which means we don't really know the impact that would have if he didn't because season two hasn't really dropped yet. Now, in my opinion, I think Alistair at the beginning is good for the hotel because he brought Husk, brought Nifty, and without him, the hotel probably wouldn't have been able to deceive. But now he's going to be a detriment. Now he's going to, you know, try to sow dissent. Because like he said, he'll be the one pulling all the strings. Of course, maybe he'll use Charlie to beat Lilith. Use Charlie to defeat his mother. After all, he said you don't have to hurt anyone. So he probably has a very big idea in mind. I'm sure that Alistair wants, you know, Lilith to be defeated. He can use Charlie. Maybe ask Charlie to talk her into something because Lilith still cares about her, you know? I'm sure that will come in handy because, well... I do think Lilith owns his soul. Some people says that too that's too obvious, but think about it. Why would he ask Charlie? Charlie, I mean, of all people. I mean, sure she was desperate, but the favor he asked was so vague. He couldn't hurt anyone, she couldn't do anything bad. Why would she even take that deal? Unless it was to talk someone out of something. Unless it was to talk someone that was close to Charlie, Charlie's mom. Anyway, I think that really supports the theory. Of course, they could just be building up to being, being Lilith just to turn around and say, nope, not Lilith. We fooled you. We fooled you. We got you. We got you. I don't know. Do you think it's Lilith? And if it's not Lilith, who else could it be? Let me know in the comments below. I really love you all. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for being there for my content, for my, you know, videos. It means the world to me. And let me know what your ideas are. I love all your ideas. Even though some people are like, come on, man. I've been posting this for 30 days. There's like hundreds of comments under my videos. And I get like messages about each one. I'm not going to be able to read all of them. So I may not be able to see yours. All right. So I don't think I'm trying to annoy you. Also, there's some videos that I just... I just can't do. I... There's some video ideas that I just can't do. Because I haven't seen the character. Or I don't really do that universe anymore. There's like many, many reasons. So yeah, if you want to know what things I won't really do, let me know in the comments below. Love you all so, so much. Thank you for going on. Thank you for doing things. I hope you had an amazing Labor Day. Peace out.